Well, good Monday morning to you and welcome to our Monday morning live edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. It's called Live Healthy, Be Healthy. We are here every Monday morning at 9 o'clock, and of course we are trying to help you live a healthier lifestyle. Our phone lines are 896-0713-800-341-0713. I'm Jim Tabor, your host, and the pros, Dr. Jim and Janine Fox <laughs> of Dr. Nutrition. Morning. Um, three years we've been doing this show now. Yeah, yeah three and, years. And, uh, you know, talking about a lot of great things, and what we do invite you to call in and, you know, ask questions regarding today's uh, topic, or right. if there's something else on your mind regarding health, you're more than welcome to call in and ask. If you don't want to ask them uh, yourselves, well, um, you can pass the question along to our operator and they'll pass the question along to us. What we're talking about this morning is our autoimmune system. Well, we're talking about the autoimmune problems that we're having. There's so right. many of them. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and they're, they're on the rise. They're very much on the rise. And, you know, when you look around, people are having, you know, coming in with all kinds of problems and it's autoimmune. It's mm -hmm. autoimmune this, it's autoimmune hepatitis, it's autoimmune something. And so it's, it's something that's definitely on the rise. Uh, it didn't, you know, five, ten years ago, it wasn't near as, mm -hmm. as prevalent as well, it is what today. What exactly is the autoimmune system? Well, it's when the, when the immune system starts attacking its own tissue. Right. Various places. It could be the thyroid, it could be the liver, whatever. Uh, it could but be it's the joints, it could joints. be the you know, organs, it can yeah. be I mean, anything. There's all kinds of things. It's when the body attacks its own self and it's not supposed to do that. Right. So that's why they call it autoimmune is because it's actually attacking itself. Right. Okay. And so it's, and there's like, I think there's like 80 different named autoimmune diseases wow. at this time. I mean, at this time, and then there's, there's some There's so unknowns. many that, yeah, and then there's some unknown ones yeah. where they know it's autoimmune, but there's really not a name to it. Yeah. And so there's just a lot of different things that trigger the immune system to turn on itself. And it's not a normal process because if you think about it, your body shouldn't attack itself. Right. Yeah. Normally that immune system works pretty good. You know, mm -hmm. it keeps us healthy. Well, I was going to say, that, that, especially, I mean, what, years ago, decades ago, our mm -hmm. forefathers and all that, they, uh, their immune systems, they were, they didn't have all the stuff that we have today that messes up their immune systems. Right, right. It was all right. natural uh, things and that they do. They, they grew were, their own they uh, were, vegetables. And, and they were know. exposed more to the outdoors and to the dirt right. and to bacteria. And they say that's actually good for you. And they find that autoimmune yeah. diseases are... I grew are up running yeah. around barefooted when yeah. I was a kid. And you know, they actually have a name for it now. They call it the hygiene hypothesis. Um, and it's, we're too clean. You know, when you look at it, you know, we're... I mean, gosh, I mean, go in some places and they start squirting you with hand sanitizers and oh my God, you know. It's Did like, you wash your hands? Yes. Wash I your mean, hands before you leave yeah. the bathroom. And, and yeah, so. But you should leave, wash your hands before you leave the bathroom. We're literally too clean. And they've done studies and they've shown that kids that grow up on a farm out in the country have a better immune system than those raised in the city where they're exposed to all the hand sanitizers and everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, go to the grocery store and they've got hand sanitizers for the little carts, you know. Yeah, when you walk in the door. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it's you know, we've kind of turned into a germaphobes. Yeah. And uh, and that's kind of one of the things that, that a lot of the researchers in this autoimmune stuff were saying, hey, we got a real problem here because the immune system never really learns uh, what's going on. But with the advent of all the different things that, uh, you know, you can pass on just by touch or, or yeah. whatever, I mean, isn't it a isn't it a safer thing that if you when you walk into the the big box store or something mm -hmm. like that, and they've got the little towelettes there that you can wipe off the handles of your cart from whoever was in there before? Isn't that kind of a good thing to do? Uh, the, and you never know who the, who well, had it before. That's true. I mean, what they, what, what they well, there's have. a lot going on around, yeah. but if you keep your immune system strong, is what we suggest. Right. Is if you keep your immune system strong, you shouldn't just pick up everything that you touch. And that's what and you're I'll saying. I'll be honest. Yeah. I don't do yeah. that. I don't. I, mean, uh, I walk in, grab a buggy. I'm going. Yeah, like I say, yeah. you should. I mean, we're exposed every day. If you took a like right now, uh, like a swab, mm -hmm. and you swabbed this table, we swabbed our skin, and we yeah. grew it. It would grow all kind of stuff. It would be. You'd be yeah, amazed at what kind of bacteria <laughs> oh, yeah. grows. So we're exposed constantly. It's just how our immune system reacts. And an autoimmune problem is not necessarily a low immune system. Mm -hmm. It's a malfunctioning immune system yeah. because it's not attacking the right things. Um, yeah. And it's attacking itself instead. And that's kind of, and for, for years, you know, they know it's the immune system attacks itself. Mm -hmm. Known that. More and more is coming out, and we've said it for probably 20 years. Um, in natural medicine and functional medicine, they've said for years and years that it's probably the body's trying to attack something that shouldn't be there, and mm -hmm. instead it attacks itself. Mm -hmm. And now some of the research coming out is saying just that. I mean, it can be a fungus, it can be a virus, it can be a bacteria. Yeah, if, and if so there's something that's in you, yeah. the body is trying to attack, and instead it attacks, it attacks you. the body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you know they've actually, you know, when we started decoding the DNA, we found little snippets of RNA, which are ribonucleic acids from parts of DNA, from viruses. 
And they said, you know, gee, wait a minute, how, how does this get in here? Um, this virus seems to be or have taken up residence in, in our DNA. And of course, when the body looks at something like that, it says, hey, that's not supposed to be here. Let's kill it. You know, and that's what happened. You know, the immune system is powerful. I mean, the immune yeah. system can literally destroy anything. I mean, our immune system is, it's really potent as far as, you know, when it decides to kill something. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it can kill us. I mean, you know, let's face it, it can do it. And it can just destroy whatever there. So if you happen to be a tissue, that, let's say, for instance, it gets in your thyroid, a uh, virus or something does. And a lot of, uh, like Hashimoto's, they're saying now it's linked to, you know, the, even the herpes, some of the herpes viruses getting in that, that thyroid tissue. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the immune system just goes nuts and says, okay, let's tear it up. And it's quite capable. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And, well, I was just to say, it's such a common problem we see, which is one yeah. reason we were going to do a show on it. Yeah. Eight nine six zero seven one three or 800-349-0713 are our phone lines, which you can call in and ask questions regarding autoimmune or, again, anything in particular that you have uh, right. with that. Are there, are there any indications of when your autoimmune is not working properly? Well, yeah, the well, symptoms that go along with autoimmune diseases, a lot of times, now it can be different for different problems. Oh, yeah, just like I said, it if it happens to be the, the thyroid, it'll be a thyroid problem. Um, but you can tell if it is actually autoimmune by checking the antibodies. Not all mm -hmm. thyroid problems are autoimmune, but some are. Right. You actually, the symptoms that tend to come with it, fatigue, mm -hmm. which is very right. general, general and vague, yeah. um, <laughs> joint pain, and even especially pain that travels and doesn't make sense. Like real severe pain like in your elbow and then it goes away and then all of a sudden it's in your ankle yeah so and then yeah I mean it kind of moves, moves around yeah, really and mm -hmm. so it, it's it's different and things that a lot of times can't be explained and everything looks good but yeah you feel horrible a lot of times that's when you start checking for some of the autoimmune problems um, and yeah. like I said, a lot of the, and inflammation <coughs> is one of the things that is probably a Just common generalized. denominator mm -hmm. with yeah. almost all of them, no matter where it is, is that inflammation causes different problems. Yeah. Right. All right. Uh, 896-0713, 800-349-0713. Our phone lines are open to you. We'll take a break and be right back. And welcome back to our Monday morning live edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy. Jim Tabor along with Dr. Jim and Janine Fox of Doctors Nutrition located on Cowan Road in Gulfport South of Pass Road. And our phone lines are 896-0713 or 800-349-0713. And I can't help but think that so much of that immune system thing leads right back to the gut. Well, yeah, you know, the, well, I think it was a week or so ago, we talked about leaky gut. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a lot of interest now, if you will, in, in the autoimmune area about the leaky gut. In other words, when the gut doesn't work like it's supposed to and things get through that membrane that shouldn't get through the membrane and gets into the bloodstream and, you know, we get these, you know, partially digested proteins and things and, the, you know, the immune system looks down and says, yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's not supposed to be here. Let's kill it. You know, and here it goes, you know, and of course, when it starts something like that, God knows where it might end up. You know, right. I mean, you and know, once that immune system gets cranked up. And that's one of the things they think might trigger the autoimmune response. And I yeah. mean, there may be a virus there before and the body was acting normal with it, yeah. but those proteins that leak cause the immune system to overreact and then they start doing stuff it's not supposed to do. So, I mean, that, it sets up a problem. Now, it does. Yeah. of course, we always go back to diet. Right. <laughs> diet, right. I mean, if, if you look at what can you do if you have an autoimmune disease, because there's so many people out there that do. First thing is change your diet. I mean, that is something that has absolutely been shown to help. And I've had a yeah. lot of people, if they will do what we tell them to do on diet changes, they can't believe the differences. Um, because for one, the inflammation, we just mentioned right. inflammation and actually changing the diet makes a difference. Um, the paleo diet is actually a really good diet for probably the, and they even have an autoimmune paleo diet. The difference is the paleo diet itself is no grains and no dairy and no no beans, because beans tend to actually trigger a response too, because they have some phytochemicals in them that are actually toxic. Yeah, like but um, yeah, so the, the paleo diet's good, but it goes a little bit step farther when there's autoimmune, where they eliminate eggs, and they also eliminate the nightshade plants, which are inflammatory foods, which is tomatoes, potatoes, eggplant, mm -hmm. peppers. So I mean, it can get very restrictive. Um, they, but they start with the paleo diet, and then mm -hmm. if that doesn't do it, you can go a little bit stricter. A lot of times, just the just eliminating grains and dairy can actually help. Yeah, it's it's kind of amazing, you know. But you take something. If you go back five thousand mm -hmm. years ago, um, you know that when we first started medicine, Hippocrates, 
you know, he, he said, let your food be your medicine, let your medicine be your food. Now that was, you know, that seemed to work 5,000 years ago because that's all they had. Right. And of course today we have all the biologics and everything else for all these autoimmune problems. And a lot of times we see that it, you get these unintended consequences. Yeah, we'll give you something for this little autoimmune problem you have. Now you've got all this other problem. You know, the side effects can be horrendous in some cases. Right. So, so. we recommend changing the diet first. And there's definitely a lot of supplements that you can do right. also for autoimmune. Oh, now, yeah. Everybody's different. We tell people you always want to keep your vitamin D level up. You want to keep your zinc level up. Right. Um, those support the immune system. Now, one thing that a lot of people do out there, they think, oh, I have an autoimmune disease. I need to boost my immune system. And they go out and buy herbs that are immune boosting. That does not help. Mm -hmm. um, if anything, boosting the immune system when it's overactive to begin with and attacking mm -hmm. itself makes it attack even harder. So boosting is not necessarily what you want. Normalizing yeah. is more what you're wanting. So like we I see said, that mistake a lot. We, yeah. really we do. We see a lot of people yeah. think, oh, well, I just need to boost my immune system. My immune system's weak. No, not necessarily. So that's why we yeah, always say, come in and talk to us. Be up with them probiotics. Yeah, and probiotics mm -hmm. is another good immune support. Yeah. Um, probiotics, vitamin D, mm -hmm. zinc. And then we'll use specific things depending on what we find. And we actually do use something called Olivere, which is an antiviral, antibacterial, mm -hmm. antifungal. And it kind of helps with suppressing whatever it is in the body that the body's trying to attack to begin with. But it doesn't stimulate the immune system, it does not so you don't get an overreaction. Right. It, does mm -hmm. not, it is not an immune stimulant. And then even something like colostrum, which mm -hmm. colostrum mm -hmm. helps mm -hmm. that leaky gut. Yeah. Something mm -hmm. like GI essentials to help mm -hmm. the leaky gut to actually help and then colostrum normalizes the immune system. Right. I know that's the stuff that you said that you can you give it that to uh, the babies. You can just oh, yeah. dip your uh, fingertip oh, in yeah. and give oh, to Oh yeah. Them. It's so safe any I mean colostrum is one that is so safe. Well that's what new newborns eat. That's yep. what I mean that I is what say, newborns <laughs> actually the first thing they have. So I tell people, I mean, we've even had instances in the past. Um, I had it's been a while back, but a local doctor had called and said, I have a girl here with lupus that is dying. I, everything mm -hmm. we give her makes her worse. You know I mean? I don't want to, I don't yeah. know much about natural medicine, but I'm at my end. You know, <laughs> what do you have? And he said, I don't want to do but one thing. What can I do? And I want it to be very safe. And I said, let's try colostrum at high doses. That girl completely went into remission with colostrum. She was hospitalized. She was that bad. She was, wow. they thought she wasn't going to yeah. live. And so we've seen some pretty miraculous things with some of the natural medicine. Mm -hmm. Um, and that, you know, it's just something that she has had to, to continue it, to maintain. Yeah. You don't want to, because unfortunately, once you have that autoimmune disease, it, it is likely to come back, even if it goes into remission, because you know the, it's already there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Well, I, I mean, getting the, 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 uh, the natural items, too. I mean, I can remember when I first started taking all the mm -hmm. different stuff mm -hmm. that, I, that I'm on. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and my wife was a little bit, you know, white, <laughs> a little skeptical about that. Well, then she started having some issues with a few different things with, you know, because of what she, uh, she does all day long with her elbow and all mm -hmm. this. And then she started taking some stuff. And yep. I mean, she's like, <laughs> she's one of your biggest. Uh, well, yeah, now, anytime now. something yeah. happens, Kim, <laughs> Kim calls and like, okay, what, can, what do you got for this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does. She does. Yeah. That's great. So we I mean, it's always try natural. Yeah. Try something natural. If it don't work, you can always go to something and if, more. And if somebody comes up and tells you, you need to, uh, you know, try this, run over to the big box store and just get you, a, you know, a bottle. Mm -hmm. You know, and again, we preach this all the time. Don't do that. I mean, you want, because the, the, all those stuff has fillers in it. That's, that's why it's so cheap for the first, for, the, for one well, reason. And they may be taking the wrong thing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's, uh, that's well, something that's why you go is, in and talk to them right. yeah. for a free consultation. Exactly. Doesn't cost you a dime. And, uh, you know, tell them the issues you're having. You can take in your, your list of medications mm -hmm. that you're on, uh, any recent blood work that you've had done, and, you know, tell them the issues that you're having. And, and you know, let them, yeah. you know, look at a more natural way we, of approaching this. We do have a lot of years mm -hmm. of experience. Oh, yes. um, somebody the other day was asking, and I've been doing this for 20, 21, 22 years, and you've probably been doing it for 30-something years. I don't want to count. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we definitely have a lot of experience. It's a, it's a mature thing. We it's have, a mature we thing. have seen right. a lot. You know, I mean, when you see a lot, that's how, that's how we learn over, over all the years. Oh, yeah. Um, and you, you know what works on people. And you can even read research, and it might say this works really good for this, but over the years we found that it might not. I mean, yeah. even though stuff might say that it works for stuff, we have found in some areas it really doesn't. Um, like a lot of the cholesterol lowering, you know, natural products. Right. If it lowers at five points, I consider it not working very well. Mm -hmm. um, to where the research will say, oh, it works really good. Yeah. We have found mm -hmm. over the years what does work. Right. And yeah. what doesn't. 
So. And, yeah. and that's <laughs> kind of what it boils down to mm -hmm. is, is, you know, looking at something. Just like when you've got an autoimmune problem, uh, you, you know, you mentioned going to the big box store or going anywhere, really. And if you just go, you know, get something, and somebody said, whoa, echinacea or something like that, because echinacea seems to be a really big one. Everybody, oh, I remember you know, years ago, there was echinacea with golden seal root. Yes. Right. But you oh, don't yeah. want to do that with an autoimmune With disease. autoimmune, that's the worst thing you can do, because you're going to stimulate the immune system mm -hmm. to overproduce, and when you do, mm, it's going to cause problems. Right. Okay. 896-0713-800-349-0713. Our phone lines are open to you. We'll be right back with this week's special. And welcome back again to our Monday morning live edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy. I'm Jim Tabor along with Dr. Jim and Janine Fox of Dr. Nutrition, Cowan Road in Gulfport, south of Pass Road. They're open Monday through Friday, um, 8.30 is when no, they no, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 10 for the lab and then Yeah, 8, 10 for the lab and then the doctors are there. 10 to 5.30. Monday, uh, Monday Tuesdays and uh, Thursdays and Dr. Um, uh, Bull. Mark Bull is there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not there every Fox, day. Bull, Wolf. Uh, yeah. <laughs> one of those, those animals. animals. <laughs> Sorry, Kenny. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Bull is there. Uh, all, uh, if you go on on Saturday from 11 nope. to 2, that's he, when, that, when, that's uh, when they have. There. Right. That, yeah. but that's just when they do refills. If you need refills, right. you can go in on Saturday. Well, we're, we're having a hard time here. It's Monday, though, right? <laughs> I mean, tell you what. It's Monday. I know. It's, it's a memory loss thing. <laughs> uh, which, uh, uh, so uh, this week's special. Um, well, you know, we figured the, the you know, since we're talking about the autoimmune things and we've talked about the one thing that we use on just about every one of them is this olive which is the olive leaf extract. Mm -hmm. And it's shown to be, like Janine said, antiviral, antiparasitic. It has an antifungal, anti anti antibacterial. So, I mean, it's, it's just kind of a catch-all as to, but it doesn't stimulate the immune system, no. so it doesn't cause an overreaction. Ah. And it can be used with any medication is another good thing. Right. Yeah. And yeah. Olivier has even been shown off the subject to help blood pressure both high and low. So, I mean, the thing is, it's not going to increase your blood pressure. It's not going to lower it too much. It's not yeah. going to, you know, I mean, the good thing right. is olive leaf is very safe. Now, some people that do have fungal problems tend to get die off when they first oh, start yeah. using it. So, they might have some detoxification problems, mm -hmm. which feeling like, oh, like real sick right when they first start taking it, but yeah. that will get better over time. Yeah, it's called a Herxheimer's yeah. reaction. It's not much fun, but, you know, if you, it just so tells you for sure you've got problems. So we do have a few people that have that, just to let you know. But, yeah. I mean, the good thing is all of you are safe, and like I said, there's a lot, you can take it with so many different medications. And that's one of the problems is a lot of the people we see with autoimmune problems are on a lot of medication. Yeah. And because they're trying to control the symptoms. Mm -hmm. And, like I said, definitely got to change the diet. Got to rest. Um, stress makes autoimmune problems worse, no oh, doubt. Oh, real big time. Um, stress makes everything worse. We've exactly. talked about that over time, but stress is it something even, so... It even causes hair loss. <laughs> <laughs> but you do have yeah. to... Lifestyle changes, and that's what we start with. And then yeah. when there are supplements, and like I said, we check vitamin D levels to see if that's part of the problem. We look to see if the white count is low or... B12, you know, things like B12, that. You know, um, a, right. Zinc is a problem sometimes with, with, with immune problems. So there's a lot of things that you can look at. Um, even it when is. the thyroid is not working properly, it affects the immune system. Everything affects the immune system. Not having enough probiotics in the system, which we talk about that almost every week. Right. That affects the immune system. And, and a lot of people don't realize that, you know, they say, well, I haven't taken an antibiotic in years. Do you eat? Right. Um, because if you're eating packaged processed food, you're getting your daily antibiotics that way. And you don't have to you know, go to the doctor right. and get a prescription. Right. You're getting it on a daily basis. And, and even the glyphosate uh, is, is the same thing, you know, causes a lot of problems with it, too. All right. Uh, let's see. Mike from Gulfport asks if diabetes can affect the immune system, and what about sleep too? Well, yeah, definitely. I mean, definitely. And you know, the the diabetes can affect anything and everything in the body. Right. I mean, everything. Seriously, uh, there's there's not much that doesn't get affected with diabetes. Heart disease, kidney function, liver function, you name it. And of course, well, when you're you damaging everything in the body when the blood yeah. sugar's high, so but that's definitely when we. That's and, and sometimes we kind of explain that A1C thing to you. You know what you're seeing there. You're measuring how much damage is going on when you're measuring an A1C. You're not just measuring sugar thing. You're measuring how much damage is going on to your tissue. Right. And when you have damage, yeah. you have inflammation. Right. And when you have inflammation, that affects the immune system and autoimmune problems as well. Right. So there's no doubt, I, we have tons of people that come in, and the first thing we tell them is you've got to control that blood sugar. So, and he asked also about sleep, yes. and we just talked just a minute ago. Sleep is definitely, if you don't get enough sleep, yeah. then the body can't heal. Well, see, and that's the only time. the inflammation process is worse too. Right. When we sleep, Mike, that's when our body actually repairs. During the day when we're up and active, our body's just saying, hey, I got to maintain. I'm just kind of hanging on here. Mm -hmm. But at night when we lie down and go to sleep, now our body can say, okay, 
let's turn some things down and let's start repairing the, the, the damage that was done through the day. And so, yeah, sleep is extremely important. And, you know, you have these people that say that they can get by, I can get by on three or four hours of sleep at night. Not, no, they, they actually say it'll good. catch up to them. Yeah. They might Sooner think later. that they can, yeah. but it really yeah. that's not good for anybody. No. And when it comes to diabetes, actually, diabetes can be an autoimmune problem. Type 1 yeah, type usually one. is. Mm -hmm. Type 2, they're even saying maybe 10% of type 2 diabetics possibly can be an autoimmune problem, too. Possibly. Um, they're just, they're, that's kind of some of the new research that's right. coming out. Mm -hmm. But... Type 1 usually is, but that's yeah. usually the body attacks the pancreas, and then you have pancreatic failure, and yeah. a lot of times they know it's due to a virus, mm -hmm. so that's type 1 diabetes. Um, so then you do have an autoimmune disease, and it unfortunately doesn't go away. Yeah, you know, when we start, I guess probably the most, if you, if you looked at one mm -hmm. thing, said, okay, what could we possibly do? Diet and lifestyle change. Right. Period. Okay, because think about it, you know, the diet and lifestyle that, that is the standard American diet, which is pretty sad, um, and when we do that, and you look back at the past 40 years, you can see, and if you track these things, the, the charts, all this stuff going up, all the diabetes going up, the obesity, all the, and all the consequences that go along with it, heart disease and everything else, just climbing. So do something as simple as say, oh, okay, let's, you know, Janine mentioned this paleo diet. Yeah. Think back at, you know, a yeah. thousand years ago, 10,000 years ago. Yeah. How did they live and eat? Okay, let's go back and try some of that. And they seem to they look too They even find good. that some of the countries that don't have the pot packaged processed food, some of the third world countries that right. you don't have that stuff, they don't have the autoimmune problems that we have in the United States. So we find a lot of problems that go along with the American diet. We sure do. Well, uh, Janet from Ocean Springs is on the phone with us right now with a question. Good morning, Janet, what's your question? I would like to ask them, um, about the menopause stage uh -huh. that I'm in. And I want to know, uh, the doctor put me on uh, estrogen mm -hmm. type uh, medication because I was having problems constantly uh, bleeding out mm -hmm. and having a cycle, you know, constantly, like every day. Right. And... My thing was when I went to the doctor, I wanted to eliminate this cycle. It's like I'm I'm 60 years old and I'm still dealing with this thing, you know. Yeah. So I wanted to know what I can ha take naturally to help me with this because I'm feeling drugged. I don't have any energy. Right. Every, everybody's a little different when it comes mm -hmm. to that. We'd have to probably do lab work on you because a, a 60 year old still having a cycle is not normal. Mm -hmm. um, not usually most people are done by then and you have to wonder if there's another underlying problem. So I would say the best thing to do is to come in and talk to us because you're a little bit different. There's not just a set thing. Now for regular menopause, we have all kind of stuff, yeah. but yours don't sound like regular menopause because you are no. still bleeding and that yeah. you don't want to bleed constantly because that can cause some pretty severe right. anemia. Right. Yeah. And that was my reason for going to the doctor to, to see what was going on. And they checked out things, and I'm, I'm in pretty good condition, you know, besides that. And, like, I'm saying something's wrong because I had stopped about 10 years ago. Yeah. I, and it started something, Something's wrong, yeah. You need, you need to dig in find out a little bit like more I said, about come it, by yeah. and talk we're at the end of the show and um, yeah. like I said come by and talk to us and if you have had any lab work bring it with you and we'll look at it and see what we go from there yeah all right thank, thank you very you. much Janet Thanks, uh, Janet. next week next Whoa, week hair <laughs> loss what else we're what's everybody about, looking at me for <laughs> we're talking about hair loss now we have <laughs> reasons for hair loss yeah. because a lot of people think it's always a thyroid but there's a lot of other reasons you can have your hair fall out too all right join us next Monday morning at nine o'clock have yourself a wonderful week